Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveTestOcast.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is April the 16th and the chart of the day for today is Amazon. Uh, 16 minutes time frame here and we can see the stock is doing a three pullback and already reaching the 100% extension. Uh, so you can see we ended with three in the intermediate degree here and this is your with four and from here might possibly um, extend higher or at least rally in three waves like so right so the option is either going to new high or rally in three ways and going down now give you all the alternates doesn't mean I don't have any view but just to give you an idea what could possibly happen the other thing is that um, now first of all before talking about the third option uh, let's go to the daily time frame okay now if you take a look at the daily time frame uh, the bias has to be bullish right you can see we continue to make a high 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 since 2023 January here and I'm putting in the uh, one two three four five here so um, this three is right here we are doing a wave four now if you notice in the daily time frame though right couple of things here that I want you to uh, think about if we are in the wave four then possibly we could be looking for not always but it could be looking for this area 23.638.2 now you can see in the one hour we have reached the three waves 100 percent but this 100% 183 right now is not even yet at the 23.6 of the wave 3, right? So in a bullish market, yes, we can continue to see more upside. But if this is wave 4, you cannot discount the possibility, guys, that this pullback actually is going to be a bigger pullback. So what if it is a bigger pullback in the wave 4? Then what are the possible paths? One possible path is what I'm showing here that this is just a rally but it's not going to break to new high and goes down again in a double zigzag right so double zigzag is two sets of zigzag here is one set of zigzag you will have another two uh, another set of zigzag here to form a double zigzag so with a double zigzag that will allow so let's say we rally here and then you fail and goes down again that will allow this entire pullback to reach at least 23.6 and therefore matches with the um, with the usual not always the usual um, retracement for wave 4 which is typically between 23.6 and 38.2 right now the other possible path that I want you to be aware of is if this is a wave 4 or larger degree pullback then this pullback here instead of an ABC it could be 1 2 Three. In other words, we could be a five wave down that will be ending only the first wave A. You guys understand, right? So we could be one, two, three, four, five, which is only ending A of four. I hope you understand the concept here, okay? So in that case though, then that means we are actually in the wave three. If that's the case, then we can actually break below 1.618 because that's usually wave three going to 1.618 like this three now it doesn't change the bullish bias but it does change the short-term structure right it does change the short-term structure so we can see something like this and that will be ending the a only a of four and then you got a b of four and then you got a c of four now in that case you can also do a bigger pullback so let's say this is one two three four five let's say five ways down only ending at 23.6 rally fell down again so we can have a abc 535 maybe you know going to 38.2 or even like a 50 percent like this like this before it extends higher right so there you go guys Let's give you um <clears throat> three options right either we go to new high from here we <clears throat> rally in three ways and breaks down again in double or we go down in a five waves now let's say you want to be ultra safe what are you going to do 
if you want to be ultra safe actually uh, in my opinion you would wait until at least 23.6 provided that this is really with 4 I mean we can still extend higher to finish with 3 but in my opinion even if that's the case I don't think it's worth it to chase even if we do extend higher before ending with 3 and doing a bigger pullback I still think that probably the safest one is to wait for with 4 right and then if that's the case then you should wait at least 23.6 if you want to be ultra safe okay guys so again the the key takeaway here guys is not blindly doing whatever you want to do right just like what many people do oh, i just don't understand elite wave I, I don't understand probability all i care about is just give me a chart and i will trade every single swing that's a recipe for disaster right so that's why i think part of the um, goal here is to really not just showing a forecast showing possible path and giving you the ability to think uh, rationally and logically and the right way to think about it right so if you want to be safe then um, again I'm not saying that every single trade even after you try to be safe is still you can still lose right that's why we manage the trade with the risk management and so on but it is more important guys to uh, improve our chance of winning and in this case again <clears throat> if you want to be ultra safe you just wait until it reaches 23.6 then your assumption will be if it does a double six sack I'm not going to be doing anything right now but if it does a double six sack then I might consider uh, looking to go long or if this is becoming a five wish down then yeah I will wait until we got a bigger 535 zigzag then I'm gonna consider to go long because by that time you have already reached the 23.6 38.2 okay hopefully that's clear and if you want to get more updates feel free to check our service we have 14 days trial the link is in the description of the video so I'll see you all again next time and uh, have a nice day everyone